Hello online students, welcome back. Now I'm going to be doing an overview of the uh, nursing practicum course for you. I hope that you found the nursing theory uh, overview helpful. So without further ado, we'll get started. All right, this time we're going to be doing an overview of your nursing practicum course. Again, this is your overview of your home page, your assignments that are up, your contents, uh, any announcements we have will be here, any kind of uh, alerts that will be sent to you on this side. On this, you have your home page, which is where we're at right now. If you click on student resources, you're going to find, again, the orientation agenda. This is where I'll be posting this YouTube when I'm finished. There's another copy of your handbook in both places. There's your practicum syllabus. Make sure that you understand it uh, and go over that. Here is how you order your uniform shirt. So it tells you in your um, handbook exactly what your uniform will be. You will need to order your lab coat and your pants separate. They are the red, uh, and then you will actually order your white shirt through Meredith's. So if you click on here, it gives you um, a handout that tells you when you've got to order it by. The ordering deadline is by January 28th, allow four weeks for delivery. Tells you here, you'll click on this, but you've got to know your passcode. It's not sensitive, but you do have to know that passcode. And it tells you how much uh, that you'll have to pay down here with your payment options. So make sure that you get that ordered no later than January the 28th. Okay. All right, then you will have your spring hours. These are very important, again, to go by. These are the same that are in your theory. Remember, everything behind a P behind it is practicum course. Everything with a T behind it, you go to your theory course to find your objectives. But you only need to print one copy and keep up with it. Here, under student resources, then you go into your content modules. For your content modules, week one, if you were to look at your uh, hours, it says here that you've got advanced infusion therapy, advanced infusion therapy, IV calculations, and community. Well, here, here is listed every one of those. For your IV calculations, when you click on it, there will be PEDS IV, adult IV, and OB Pitocin. When you click, for instance, on PEDS IV, there will be Pediatric Consider uh, Considerations PowerPoint that you can download to go along with my narration. This is an optional exercise with extra practice questions. You do not have to do it. Optional means optional. But if PEDS... Uh, is your weak area or you want more practice questions in this, then please do this one. There's a pediatric syringe pump link to on YouTube for you to watch because you will be using syringe pumps. So this will get you started on PEDS IV calculations. There will be some questions on your IV therapy module over pediatric calculations that will, that will follow my PowerPoint and my narration. This again is just for practice. All right, so if we go back, you'll find the same thing on the adult and the same thing on the OB. You'll have a PowerPoint, and then you will have uh, the actual uh, calculations part. So, for example, there's your practice calculations document. So if you open it, you'll see there, there are some practice questions for you to do, uh, Pitocin calculations, and then the Pitocin uh, calculations uh, PowerPoint. So you can download that PowerPoint, and it will go along with her um, actual um, recording. So that will go. That's where you find your IV calculations. Now, if we go back to uh, Content Module Week One, the next thing listed was Advanced Infusion Therapy. This is where you'll go. You will find your objectives. Always start with your objectives because your objectives tell you all of your assignments. You're going to have to do some reading. There's some handout PowerPoints, assigned articles. that She's got all kinds of stuff for you to do. You're going to be completing an IV therapy module. Uh, the modules in Blackboard. So those are things that you want to look at. All right, then, oops, I got out of my course. Uh, then you will find um, the PEDS and the other content that will go along uh, with her infusion therapy. Also under content module, you will find in week one, 
Your community assignment. Your community nursing topics, there's your, you always go first for the objectives, so because that will tell you your reading assignments. Your reading assignments are your required readings. Then here's your uh, evaluation or your assignment. It's worth 100 points. Tells you you'll submit it in the assignment folder, Nursing Practicum Content Modules, Community Nursing Week 1. It's due Monday by the end of the day. And here's your assignment. After reading those pages, here's what you should be able to do. Here's the PowerPoint with note, without note pages and the PowerPoint with note pages. When it says with note pages, it will print out one slide at a time with my notes underneath it. So again, it gives you an overview of that slide with notes under it. Okay, so this one I am not audioing, but I did give you note pages. Here is the community assignment link I was telling you about. Once you go to that objective, you've seen your community assignment. It says submit your answers to the community assignment here. Click on the bolded title community assignment. That would be this. Submit your assignment in a Word document only for credit. That's all we will accept. Last but not least, it's what's your learning style? I want you to take the quiz, email me the results, and what's your thoughts about it. Because it's very important that you know your learning style. If you're an auditory, if you're a visual, or if you're a tactile learner because that makes all the difference in how we need to study and help prepare you to be successful in this program. The next link is the course menu, the course messages. Again, this is email. Discussions, if anyone has discussions in any of their courses for the practicum, that is the instructors, um, if they want to do that, they are welcome to do that. Now, in theory, you won't have discussion, but in practicum, you may. Here's where you check your grades. Your tools, here's where pharmacology uh, will be located. Chapter 4, 7, and 8 is already up. And this is where you will go to take those quizzes. Exams and quizzes will be located here. Like there's already your advanced infusion therapy module that's due. And then your community uh, service hours. Each semester, the student has to complete eight community service hours. There are forms you will have to complete. Here are the forms you need to send in. The first form is a fax cover sheet, and our fax number is located on the front of your student handbook. The second sheet is to be completed and faxed when your hours are completed and signed off by the appropriate person. And then the third sheet in here is the request for approval. So you're going to do the fax form, and you're going to sign it, fill in sheet three, which I had them out of order, so why it says it this way, and that's the approval. Once I approve it, then you will fill out sheet two and send it in by the approved person signing it when it is completed, and then I will give you your full eight hours. If you're unsure what constitutes community service hours, please email me and I will let you know. It's just about volunteering at any community uh, place, um, assisting going to a uh, senior citizen center and doing blood pressures. So there's lots of things you can do for this. Just email me. Eight hours are due this semester, and we give a community service award at the end in our RM Penning. So if you're wanting to compete for that award, you would turn in all your hours that you do for the semester in addition to the eight required. If you have more questions or concerns about community service hours, please give me a call, and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much. I look forward to a wonderful semester, and I think that we are going to have fun, fun, fun.